An extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the way to take it. stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Now the 2-2, a swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch! Ball game! The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep. Back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! Stubbs, the right fielder, jumped and couldn't get it just to the right of the 380-foot marker. David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536th home run. 10-2 Red Sox. From the new home of the Atlanta Braves, MLB Network welcomes you to SunTrust Park. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. It's going to be fun marveling at two of the best in the game, and it's next on MLB Network. Jaime Garcia will be on the bump for game two of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, I'm curious about what's in the tank for him. Last game, he pitched deep into the game, pitched into the eighth inning and got the win. But back-to-back -back starts, I don't know if he has the stamina or not. We'll see if he can go as deep in this one as well. So striding in, Curtis Granderson. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. The 2 1 now to Granderson. Right over the middle, knee high. Had some rain here late last night, but no thunderstorms in the forecast today. Game time temperature 89 degrees. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Count is full. Here's the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Another full count pitch home. And another pitch is hit foul as the battle continues here. On the ground up the middle. Swanson picks it up on the first and that'll take care of Granderson for the game's first out. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Esdrubal Cabrera. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Here now is Esdrubal Cabrera. And he'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Matt, I gotta be totally honest here. With Woody oh. Keller behind the dish, don't be too surprised you have a few questionable calls. It's not that he's consistently off, but I've been told it seems like he has a fairly tall strike zone. We'll keep an eye out for that. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. 
He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Yep. Two and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. The Mets go down one, two, three. Nothing for the Mets in the first, and after a break, the Braves swing the bat. Stay tuned to MLB Network. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's coming off an outing where he couldn't get out of the fifth inning. You know, fifth inning is that deciding inning for any pitcher. He was so frustrated he couldn't get through the fifth. And to make it worse and compound the matter, he got the loss. So this outing right here, if he's able to dig deep, we'll see him pitch well. Here's Ender Inciarte. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Swing and a liner. Foul. This is lifted out to left. Cespedes is there. He's got it one away. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? Well, Matt, the first thing I look around in afternoon games is see what kind of shadows might you have to deal with. That's the challenge of the afternoon game, and it looks like they may creep into this ballpark. So we'll, we'll wait and see how, as this game progresses how the shadows are going to affect it. Into the box, Brandon Phillips. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting third, first base Standing in, Freddie Freddy Freeman. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. It's quite possible that humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. We're off to the second scoreless on MLB Network. Here's the third baseman David Wright. First at bat for him in this one and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. And it just didn't Got tempt him fit. enough to get a good swing. First a good job of pitch 21. recognition and knowing the okay. strike zone to draw the free pass there. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two look Matt this guy's got a great sinker here's the key he's got a runner on first base this is where you can get that ground ball double play make him chase that hard sinker and hit him to the dirt and turn one over to him. way late and he's in there easily at second time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Braves and at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt. Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised he does the splits on you every now and then. Digging in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. And the average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ballgame. 
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Well, for Wright, he picks up stolen base number seven so far on the year. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Wow, he's not even being subtle about it. He almost hits him with the previous pitch, and then he actually does it with the next one. Going to be interesting to see if they seek revenge at some point. Digging in, Travis Darno. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And that misses two and one. Harold, these Braves as they begin play here this afternoon, despite that loss last time out, they're still on a pretty nice run as they'd won six in a row prior to that. Yeah, Matt, they're feeling it right now. You know, they're starting to play good ball. They're really playing good. And they're closing in on that division. And this time of the summer, it's all about baseball. You come to the park, the grass is green, you smell the hot dogs, and you're excited to play even in the afternoon during batting practice. And that's what I see with this club right now. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Well, we got a big pitch coming up now. That's ball three right there. And look at, with this situation, with two guys already on, you don't want to load the bases. You've got to come after him and swing the bat. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Once again, a 3-2. Both runners on the move again. Hit back up the middle. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Batting eight. Here's Juan Ligares. The head-to-head -head line Juan against Garcia. Ligares. He's gone two for six. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch takes a knee-high fastball. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Drilled to the right side. And that'll go as the Mets' first hit of the ball game. And the run will score as the Mets have claimed the early 1-0 advantage. Cardinal sin, Cardinal nice. sin. You got an open base Jacob with the pitcher the on the on deck circle and you let him get a base hit. That just can't happen. Standing in now, Jacob DeGrom. And he looks at one in there, one and two. What a two out rally. You get a two out RBI right there. Now the pitcher comes to play with the runner in scoring position. Talk about an opportunity to help yourself out right here. He's got one right now. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Sweet. One two oh. pitch is a slider that misses two and two. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. So here's Matt Kemp now. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. One and two, here it comes. And this is fouled back and out of play. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And they've got a strikeout pitcher on the mound today. He's in the top five in strikeouts. And when you're defending behind him, you have to really concentrate because he can lull you to sleep thinking there's two strikes, he's going to get a strikeout, but that's when they get a ground ball. You've got to really concentrate. 
Now to the plate, Nick Markakis. In previous duels with DeGrom, and even 10 hits in 24 at-bats. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. The next 0-2. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. In is Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Garcia ready the 1 2. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2 and 2 now. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Granderson around first on his way to second. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. In now as Drubal Cabrera takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. A runner at second, nobody out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Inciarte will slide over and put this one away and that's out number one. Fielder Yoenis Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Runner at second here with one man out. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. In Ciarte's there. He's got it, and there are two down now. The third baseman stepping in and ready for another shot. David Wright. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. The one two pitch. Hit hard, but foul. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. Markakis is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Mets leave one, but they're up one to nothing. Stepping up now, Kurt Suzuki. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And he will reach down to pluck this one off his shoe tops. A fine play there for the first down. Here's Emilio Bonifacio now, hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Braves are still looking to break into the hit column here. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. 
Now batting Jaime Garcia. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. And a two one slider is looked at for a called strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. It remains one nothing. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the left handed hitting slugger Lucas Duda starts out the inning. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Duda is retired, and there's one away. Neil Digging in for his second at bat, Neil Walker. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Kemp ranging back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. And that's his second triple of the season. For Not some hitters, him. that's a career. Gotcha. Good swing and great Grab hustle it. to pick Dar up no. the three bagger. Into the box, Travis Darno. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Payoff pitch on its way. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. To short. Swanson scoops it up. Only play is going to be to first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. He's been great on the mound up until this inning, and yeah, he and his guys are behind two nothing now. But if he can seal the leak and hold these guys right here the rest of the way, this is still going to be a start he can be proud of. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Soft liner to the right side. And this is past to diving Phillips, a base hit. The eight hitter gets a base hit. You know how important that is? Now the pitcher has to hit in this pitcher. inning, and he doesn't Make lead the, off next inning, possibly clogging the bases or starting the inning with basically one out. That's a big hit. Into the box now, Jacob DeGrom. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get in the chase right there, making think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Ready with the two and two. And he takes okay. ball three, so it's a full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he lays off here. It's ball four, and that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. Yeah, the pitching the right coach would hate to go three. to the bullpen this Curtis early in the Rangerson. game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Curtis Granderson, two men on, two away here in the fourth. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Inciarte on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. 
It's the Mets two and the Braves nothing. Here's Ender Inciarte back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Well it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box score. The, the but man that baseball. ball is hit hard up the middle. Right He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. Stepping in now, Brandon Phillips. He grounds it sharply to third. Here's Walker for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1 1. Tough slider down low for a strike. The one and two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Calling for it, Duda. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The batter. Right fielder. So here's Matt Kemp now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. A little roller toward the hole reined in and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over one hit one left we played four full it's the Mets two and the Braves nothing ready for another shot now as Dribble Cabrera he comes in 0 for 2 thus far a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, he's throwing the ball so good today. He didn't get that pitch right there, but he's been getting most of the calls around the plate. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Hit sharply on the ground. Swanson brings it in and the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away. The left fielder, Here's the left fielder Ioannis Cespedes. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Two and one now to Cespedes. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Oh that was a good looking slider to hit. It kind of hung him one. When you got a slider right there and it's spinning towards you that's the one you, you annihilate. Now here's his swing and a bouncing ball for the second baseman Phillips. Throw gets him two down. The third baseman number five David Wright. Digging in once again David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Full count here it comes and that one's taken outside for a ball he walked him so no one two three inning here they've got themselves a two out base runner. Now about it. Here's Lucas Duda now been a strike at victim twice in this one. Two runs four hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And there goes right. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And another foul ball. A 2 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. He's running again. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there. Base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well he's known for hitting the ball out of the ballpark but that just shows you how strong he is he gets jammed he's able to fight it off and flip it over the infield that's a strong dude. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. 
In now, Neil Walker. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work Al carefully Batty. with two men on, but Patrick. he did not want to walk Travis. him to load the bases. Darnell. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Here comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow play. walk toward the mound. Now pitching for the and Braves. that is going to spell Number the end 15. for starter Jaime Garcia. John Thanks. Banks is going to take over here in inning number five. So it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Ready for another chance. Travis Darno. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's gone two for five. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Push. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Bases are loaded here, two down. Yeah. To two oh. balls and two strikes now. Here's the pitch on two and two. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Juan Ligares would be next. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Wow, they went to the pen because they liked the matchup, and what does he do? He walks the first guy he faces to bring in a run. So, so much for that strategy makes you wonder if they'll turn to him again next time in this situation. Now, some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. No. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, this is starting to feel like a make-or-break moment in this game. When you're playing a first-place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Looking to minimize the damage here. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Two-two. Here it is. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Markakis. And that retires the side. So one run, one hit, no errors, and three men left on base. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets three, and the Braves nothing. At the plate, Nick Markakis. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. This is line to left. Cespedes has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. There's our line score through the first four and a half, and these guys have basically had the bats taken right out of their hands. Just one hit to this point. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Holds ball off four. on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier the hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. Riding in once again, Kurt Suzuki comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 
throw over to the bag. Runner back standing. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Two one. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1 to third to Walker for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Ready once again. Jacob DeGrom. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. One and one, here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And now pitch on the way. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Now batting, right fielder, Curtis Granderson. It is Curtis Granderson. His prior history in this matchup, four hits in 28 tries. One out, nobody on. Swing and a liner, but foul. Ready on three and one, here's the pitch. Back up the middle, backhanded. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. The shortstop, number 13, as Drupal Cabrera. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The one and two pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. First baseman not normally known as the greatest leapers, but this wasn't too bad. More of MLB Network Saturday Baseball after this. Here's Emilio Bonifacio now. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Here's the one and one delivery. Had him off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well that right there is perfect for taking the ball inside and shooting Up it the other way. You hear that terminology hands inside Nine, the ball. The only ten. way you're going to do that is to pull your hands in hard and stay inside the baseball. Nice piece of hitting. You're Chase Peterson please. will grab a bat and hit for, for the break. pitcher here. Number eight Chase Peterson. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Here's a look over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Center fielder, number 11, Ender 
Riding in once again, Ender Inciarte. He's one for two in the ball game. The one and two pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Brandon Phillips. He gets it hard on the ground to the left. Glove by right. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Brave strand one. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back here at SunTrust Park, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Chaz Rowe is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 51, Chaz Rowe. Here's your one assessment. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Grounded to third. There to take it is Bonifacio. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Digging in to try it again, David Wright. A couple of walks for him thus far. A little bit outside, two and one. Set and the two and one pitch. Now a swing by right, but he got a little too far in front as this will find the seats down the left field line. The two two now to right, heading out towards shallow right. Kemp has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. First baseman number 21, Lucas Duda. Ready for another chance. Lucas Duda, he's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the one and one pitch. A fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. And now a pitch on the way. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it three to nothing. Digging in once again, Freddie Freeman, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's ready, here's the 0 2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead in the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Into the box now, Matt Kemp. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. 
Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Braves. They trail it here three to nothing. Your Lane Boyer please. has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Lane Boyer. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Neil Walker. His prior history versus this arm, he's gone two for six. Here's the one and one pitch. Now a swing and a ball hit pretty well down that left field line. This has a chance and it is gone. A home run. A solo home run here for Neil Walker. Number 10 for him on the year. And the Mets have jumped out to a 4 nothing lead. Yeah, and that home run is an absolute backbreaker. You still have some baseball left to play here, but with the four-run lead, it could be a non-save situation. So they might get the rest of their close of the rest of the day. Four runs feels awfully good. Arotis Vizcaino is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 38, Arotis Vizcaino. Standing in now, Travis Darno. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And he misses badly with a fastball here, and it's three and one now. Bases are empty here, nobody out. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there but it's a full count now three and two. That's a big fastball obviously and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Ready with the payoff pitch high in the air out towards shallow right. Kemp has a read on it. One away. The center fielder number 12. Here's Juan Lagares. One run in and one gone so far at this inning. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch takes a knee high fastball. Two and two count. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for round number two. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. In now, Jacob DeGrom. Outside, two and one. Two out, nobody on. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Curtis Granderson would be next. Here's the three one. Line toward the alley in left center. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. He is having a terrific game, pitching well enough to get back to the plate the again. Right fielder, and this time 40. he delivers with a base Curtis hit. Granderson. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. 
Ball. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Fastball is outside and it's full now, three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. And look out. That's in very tight and it's ball four. The shortstop, number 13. Ready for another shot now as Gruble Cabrera. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Mine to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Well, that's Go a nice base hit right 52. there, making him one for five. You're Personally, winning. nice that's note, good. but the team is winning anyway. They really didn't need him today. He's got to step his game up starting the next game, though. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. And that misses ball four. A run will come into score. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. And that's finally over for a strike. Two out, bases loaded. Here's a high pop up. Bonifacio is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets are out on top, five to nothing. Ready now, Dansby Swanson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Down the third baseline. Played on the backhand. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. The catcher number and definitely worth another look with our show track data. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop, and then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. Standing in now, Kurt Suzuki. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. And a fastball just a bit high. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Here's Emilio Bonifacio now. One for two on his line so far in the game. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a looper to left. Cespedes is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about now trying buddy. to move up. The pitcher, Ian Kroll. Tyler, Tyler Flowers please. will look for pinch some two-out magic play. here as he'll pinch Number hit with two gone and a runner at first. Tyler Flowers. A runner on first with two away.
There's a line drive, and he's swinging it as good as anyone, folks. The streak will continue. He's got a base hit. Well, he picks up a hit now in 11 straight games. Swing the bat pretty good. I love the adjustments he's made along the way through this whole streak. Here's Ender Inciarte, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Two left for Atlanta. They can't chip into that 5 0 deficit. Josh Colmenter enters from the pen to start the ninth Braves. inning as he'll try to Number keep the score right where it is heading to Josh the bottom of the ninth. Colmenter. Here's Lucas Duda now. He went down on strikes last time up. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. Set to deal on two and two. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Trying to pick things up where we left Neil, off. Walker. Neil Walker. He's got a homer and a triple to this point in the game. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he will recover in time to get it over to first. Nicely now, done there as they record catcher, the second out. Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Wow, he's got to be frustrated with that pitch. Did a nice job of getting ahead of the hitter. Wanted to go to change up and put him away. And just hung it up there a little bit too long. In now, Juan Ligares. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. Two out with the man at first. Three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. He's set. Here's the three one. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. He's set. Here's the three and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Phillips is there. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Mets strand one as they're unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. 
Here's Brandon Phillips. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Hit in the air to left. Cespedes is there. One out. Number five. Here's the first baseman, Freddie, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. That's a strike. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Not too now often you see an at bat go right from three and zero to a strikeout, so Matt that's a pretty good Matt. job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the three zero take, but he still had to put it in the zone. So here's Matt Kemp now. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Now a flare out toward right center Walker ranging into the outfield and he tracks it down and this ball game is over. Wow not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball but a complete game shutout this guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. Five nothing the final score today. Jacob DeGrom earned his fifth win of the year. And it's a dandy a complete game three hit performance. So that'll just about do it for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Pleszak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long everybody. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs on nine hits. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10! Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on.